we were happy to get an extension until uh, May the 17th, but um, it's not clear why we can't stay longer. After a meeting between the city and Resilience Montreal this week, the Cabot Square warming tent in downtown Montreal has gotten a two-week extension until May 17th. But those running it say the city told them after that there won't be enough space as an equipment container will be moving in. But today when I went by, the container already arrived and it's not even close to the tent. It's on the other side of the Vespasian. So I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> the container in question belongs to Roundhouse Cafe, which is a project of L'Itinéraire, another organization focused on helping the homeless. A cafe that caters to indigenous people getting employment. So the idea that the Roundhouse Cafe would create a, or put a um, container and because this organization is, is supporting Indigenous people, that the other <laughs> tent that's supporting Indigenous people have no room. City News reached out to L'Itinéraire by phone and was told it was not aware of any relation between a Roundhouse Cafe's container and a warming tent. They say the only conversations they had with the city were in regard to acquiring the container. In a statement to City News, a spokesperson for the city said, the tent operated temporarily by collective of resources from Quebec's native nations was originally designed as an alternative to the curfew and in response to the cold of winter. The tent's activities were scheduled to cease on May 1st. For now, it has been agreed with skate holders to continue the Cabot Square tent activities on a temporary basis until May 17th. However, the City of Montreal is actively working with them to find solutions to pursue a service offering in the sector to meet the needs of Indigenous people experiencing homelessness. City News followed up about the container, but we didn't hear back by deadline. Well, at least there were the chairs so we can relax on the chair till 5 in the morning. But now uh, we're going to go back in the buildings. Uh, unlock door, go on the 10th floor, go in stairway with a blanket, and uh, what else we're going to see? So there, there was a gentleman uh, the police brought here the other day. Uh, he was intoxicated, uh, but instead of going to the drunk tank, we accepted him here. So, I mean, that, that kind of solved another issue for the police. It was something else that they didn't have to deal with. Another meeting is scheduled for May 4th between the city and the organization to see what will be done after May 17th. And really have a discussion about, you know, how are we going to work together to make a Raphael Andre Memorial Shelter? So something that's long-term. And I'm telling you, all the staff are ready to show up. They're ready to be there for, you know, the tent and even the long-term. Montreal has a flag with all the surrounding community towns. And they have a little Christmas tree that comes from the natives in the middle. They're supposed to be reconciliating with us. Now, if they're not going to reconciliate with us, change your flag. You're not going to work with us or help us. Take us off your flag. We don't need to be there. In Montreal, Sasha Obis, City News.